Marxists is the missing link between creationism and intelligent design, you've got the direct physical evidence there of a transitional uh, fossil. Barbara Forrest's testimony not only traced the creationist lineage of pandas, citing a Christian magazine's interview, Forrest let one of the intelligent design movement's own leaders, Paul Nelson, speak for himself. The question he was asked was, is intelligent design just a critique of evolutionary theory or does it offer something more? Does it offer something that humankind needs to know? And this is his answer, quote, Easily, the biggest challenge facing the ID community is to develop a full-fledged theory of biological design. We don't have such a theory right now, and that's a real problem. Without a theory, it's very hard to know where to direct your research focus. Right now, we've got a bag of powerful intuitions and a handful of notions, such as irreducible complexity, but as yet, no general theory of biological design, end quote. The evidence she brought into that courtroom really exposed the hypocrisy of the intelligent design movement in a way that's irrefutable. Uh, you know, she used their own language, things that they had written and said, to show that they themselves knew that this isn't science. And on the stand, Michael Behe was asked how he would define science. Dr. Behe, Using your definition, intelligent design is a scientific theory, correct? Yes. Under the same definition, astrology is a scientific theory, using your definition, correct? Using my definition, a scientific theory is a proposed explanation which focuses or, or points to observable physical data and logical inferences. There are many things throughout the history of science which we now think to be incorrect which would fit that definition. Yes, astrology is in fact one. So is the ether theory of the propagation of light and many other, uh, many other theories as well. The ether theory of light has been discarded. That is correct. But you are clear. Under your definition, the definition that sweeps in intelligent design, astrology is also a scientific theory. Yes, that's correct. You know, when you loosen the rules around what is science and uh, permit the supernatural, permit deities, um, you are really destroying what makes science so vitally important to the progress that our civilization has witnessed over the last four or five hundred years. You're going back before the scientific revolution. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a pretty scary thing. With the scientific revolution, the work of Galileo, Newton, and others banished supernatural explanations from science. But some think the supernatural still has its place. At the very beginning of genetics, uh, the idea of there being a hereditary factor that somehow was responsible for the traits that we have, but one couldn't quite identify what the factor was. That was also initially regarded as supernatural as well. So it's not that supernaturalism hasn't been part of science. In fact, it has been, and it's often led to very fruitful results. And it seems that the evolutionists want to, in a way, uh, ignore or marginalize that very important part of the history. But Barbara Forrest testified that the intelligent design movement's goals are not entirely scientific and are spelled out in a secret Discovery Institute document that had surfaced on the Internet. Their goals are listed quite clearly in the Wedge document. It's their strategy document that they drew up about nine years ago in 1998. Their goal is to completely overthrow all of the effects of, of evolution on society, which they think are uniformly negative. Um, uh, this document states that they want to completely change American culture back to what they believe is its properly religious foundation. They want every area of life to be governed by their particular religious preferences, and they're very clear about that in this document. According to the Wedge document, Darwin portrayed humans not as moral and spiritual beings, but as animals, leading people to abandon 
objective moral standards. The document lays out an ambitious agenda to overthrow this legacy. To see intelligent design theory as the dominant perspective in science, and to see design theory permeate our religious, cultural, moral, and political life. Though not written by Philip Johnson, the Wedge document is an outgrowth of a broader policy he conceived called the Wedge Strategy. I know it can be made to sound like something sinister and conspiratorial, but the Wedge Strategy, as I've explained it, is a, a quite simple and innocent. When you use a wedge to split a log, you start with the sharp edge of the wedge. My job is to be the sharp edge of the wedge, to use my academic credentials and legal abilities to get some hearing for the uh, proposition that there really is something fundamentally wrong with the Darwinian story. But I can't answer all the questions that arise. And so we need other people to form the thick edge of the wedge to take on the questions that do require a scientific expertise. With Michael Behe and others forming the wide end of the wedge, Johnson hopes the wedge strategy will overturn what he sees as the negative effects of a century and a half of Darwin's theory. The Darwinian story, when it became accepted, had a huge cultural impact. And if that story were discredited, then the cultural impact would be reversed, and there would be cultural changes in the other direction as well. There is something outrageous about such a huge body of evidence being put together, then being confirmed in all kinds of other scientific disciplines, particularly genetics, and having other people just sort of deny it for, for reasons that have nothing to do with truth. And this became apparent during the trial. And then you began to look towards the judge and think, how is this guy going to get out of this? Because here he is, he's been a, he is a Republican. He's been appointed by George W. Bush, who has said that he thinks the jury is out on evolution. And both theories should be taught. And you began to think, what is this poor guy going to do? Whatever the motivations of the Discovery Institute, the intelligent design movement, or the authors of the book of Pandas and People, Judge Jones would need to focus on the motivation of the Dover Area School Board. Mr. Buckingham, I'd like to show you what has been identified as Exhibit P145. You'll need to look at your monitor. The book that was presented to me for biology was laced with Darwinism from the beginning to the end. William Buckingham is head of the curriculum committee for the Dover School District. He's also a board member. He strongly believes creationism needs to be taught in the classroom. My opinion that it's okay to teach Darwin, but you have to balance it with something else, such as creationism. This was back in the very early days of the intelligent design thing. And don't you know, I could not think of the words intelligent design. I just couldn't. The camera's rolling, so I say creationism. In hindsight, I should have said nothing at all, but I said creationism. Uh, I, was, I was like a, a deer caught in the headlights of a car, and I misspoke. Pure and simple. I, I made a human mistake. Freudian slip, right, Mr. Buckingham? I wouldn't say a Freudian slip. I would say a human mistake. And it was not Buckingham's only mistake. Both Buckingham and Bonsell had sworn in their depositions that they did not know who donated the 60 copies of Pandas to the high school. But by the time Buckingham took the witness stand, a different story emerged. I stood up in front of our church one Sunday morning. We had to come up with, I think it was like $1,100 to buy these books. I said, I'm not asking anybody for a dime. I'm not telling you I want anything. But we believe in the power of prayer, not church. I said, just pray that the money comes in. Buckingham's prayers were answered with donations from members of the church. So I deposited the money in our personal checking account, my wife and I have, and I wrote a check to be passed on to whoever's going to buy the books. It was my understanding at that time 